Welcome lads, we're back for another video. Today we're doing another cup run. Today is the Alps Cup. The requirements for this cup were that you had to have a team from Austria or Switzerland, those leagues. Now, I personally think there's some okay players there. You know, you're not going to have a stellar team coming from these teams. I think Soriano, striker, is insanely good. But I'm not even going to use him. I'm going to show you the team right now. And yeah, there's a lot of silvers out there. Yes, I could have had a lot better team. But I really wanted just to go with a one league team and just to see how it worked. And the kind of surprise player was the 64 rated Bright Indomunui. He was actually an in form last week. And I really liked him. He was quick. He had 86 pace. He had 70 shooting. He was solid. Cater in the midfield was a stellar player. The defense was quick. It was a very good team. And it was a lot of fun playing with this team. Now, I don't normally like playing with all silvers and a bronze. It doesn't normally work out well, but going into this tournament, I knew that, you know, there, there aren't much better options. Yes, you could have got the likes of Soriano, who's an amazing striker. He's a bit higher rated, but you're not going to come up against amazing teams. So I wasn't too afraid going into this team. Now, this team has three informs. It's not the most expensive team, but it's definitely not the cheapest team out there. Obviously, you could definitely get a cheaper team for this tournament. And uh, this tournament was a lot of fun. I like the fact that EA keep releasing new tournaments. It's keeping the game moderately fresh until team of the season. But now, let's jump into game number one. Jumping into the first game, we came up against, you know, it's a bit better team than mine, truth be told. He's got Kanate as a striker. And that 66 rated striker, he's quick. I can't remember what his name is. But he had an inform last week that I played with. So, I was a little bit concerned. I mean, I liked my team. I thought my team had the ability to play well. But I am playing with a bronze at striker. And he gets through here and his shot, well, it's not bad, truth be told. I mean, I can't necessarily complain about that. Plays it into Koch here. Koch shoots and it comes back out to Shrammel. And Shrammel is just not going to miss that. I mean, Shrammel is just so good, whoever he is. Anyways, seven minutes gone and we uh, got our first goal. I mean, it was a great pass and it was just an unlucky shot. They didn't put it away. And I'm kind of surprised he was able to hit the rebound in first time. And now Kane's on the ball. He plays a lovely ball into Cater. Cater into Lipgebug. He plays it into Idaba Wanawi, who played pretty well for a 64 rated striker. And what's this? Are we having subs now? It can't be a rate, really. A rage quit after 15 minutes in a tournament where you have a superior team to me. And, you know, I've got silvers and bronzes out there. It's not going to end well for me. Now, jumping into the second game here, we came up against the man I thought you would see a lot. It's a. Uh, Suriano, a 75 rated striker. I remember his team of the season last year was absolutely insane, shooting the ball at least. But he's got a 64 rated goalkeeper. Now, I was a little bit uh, happy about that because any sort of goalkeeper that sort of rating, you know, you just pepper them with shots and see what happens. Here it goes on a lovely run by Mukhtar, and Mukhtar's going to score. I mean, I'm not so sure that's even down for the goalkeeper. That was a great run by Mukhtar. And we were, you know, we started off very well. Idabuluwi we. On the ball again. He's making good runs. We're going to find him. He's in on the goals. And he can't quite put that one away. But, you know, he is a 64 rated striker. But then Lizard gets the ball. Lizard. Lizard gets through. Boom. Plays it out of Bluey. And uh, he misses that. How he misses that, I have no clue. Now, half time stats. At least we got to half time in this game. And it's, uh, it's close, frankly. I mean, you know, it's a uh, bit dominated possession. I've had a few more shots. But. You know, it's 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One is the most dangerous thing I've ever seen. Frankly, 2 nil are moderately dangerous. And here, Edabu Wunini is on the ball. He's going to do one. He's going to play a horrible pass. God knows what that was all about. Now, goes to Keita, who is definitely the by far the best player in this whole team. He plays a lovely ball out to Keynes. Keynes comes inside. Oh, he doubled them. They're not getting anywhere near him. He fights through, and it just did not quite work out for him on that attempt. And here we play some lovely passing. It goes out to Keynes. Keynes doesn't mess around. What's going to happen now? Oh, where are we going? Under, oh, my God. And eventually it gets put in. But Edel Wani played really well. But I just didn't think that his scoring was too good. But, you know, he's a 64 rated striker. And at this point, you know, I'm just kind of just waiting. You know, they're backing off quite a bit. I play it into Shramamol. He's going to score again, maybe. He's going to dance around. He's going to play it into Mukhtar, who gets his second goal of the game. 
And it's uh, 3-0 after 75 minutes. We've absolutely been smashing it. This team plays really well. I'm so glad that I went for one league and I didn't try and build some hybrid and have players off chemistry. The team's playing so well. I mean, I understand that it's only the quarterfinals and we've got a lot of time and hopefully we can get to the final. But, I mean, right now, we're playing very well. And here, he's just dancing through. I mean, 90 minutes. I don't care if I can see the goal. I mean, it's not great, but... You know, it's a 3-1 win. I don't necessarily care. Anyways, that is the end of game number two. Now, going into game number three, I mean, uh, this is my fault. I waited way too long to uh, record this video because I was doing other videos. And holy shit, I spent literally an hour and a half, two hours, trying to find a match. Eventually, the tournament just expired. And... You know, I will go through and you'll see here I'm searching for an opponent and I just could not find anyone. It was so frustrating. I mean, maybe it's not a very popular tournament. You do you kind of have to play with some very weird teams. But very irritating because I felt my team was playing so well. Anyways, that is the end of this video because we cannot carry on. Make sure to drop a comment, drop a like, and follow me on Twitter at FIFA Wisdom. And make sure you subscribe so you catch all my videos. And I'm out. Bye-bye.